As Hamlet said to Ophelia, God has given you one face, and you make yourself another. The battle between these two halves of identity, who we are and who we pretend to be, is unwinnable. Conrad, could you please take Victoria's hand in this next shot, and Victoria, can you please show us the ring? Beautiful. Thank you. So if you had to sum up your quarter century of marriage, what exactly would you say is your secret? What keeps you two together? Love and respect. Mm. If you keep that in mind, it's impossible not to go through 25 years without experiencing certain things that bond you and make you stronger. What's the one thing that has bonded you two forever? I would say the birth of our son, Daniel. I'm sure of that, of course. And you'll be very happy to hear that my editor has promised me the front page of the Life and Leisure section, above the fold. The 25th year in the marriage of the Hamptons' most perfect couple. Ashley, would you mind giving Miss Robbins a tour of the garden before brunch? Of course. I'll be along in just a minute. Thank you. Hampton's most perfect couple. I don't know how much more of this I can stomach. The timing is less than ideal, but the best thing we can do is go about our lives as though nothing's happened. Something has happened. The you was almost killed, and we don't know where Frank is or what he's up to. What we do know is that Frank cashed his severance check. Hopefully that means that's the last we've heard of him. And what about Lydia? Well, I'm stationed a guard at her bedside, and when she wakes up... We'll be the first to know. The wreckage from this arrangement. Arrangement? What do you, you mean our marriage? This isn't a marriage. And I'm not sure it ever was. Clearly not for you. Ever. I remember the way you used to look at David Clark. You have never not once looked at me like that. Not before and certainly not after. You have never given me reason to. Well, perhaps I should count myself as lucky. I mean, look what happened to him. With pleasure. Oh, well, you're still here. And I have some bad news. Is there any other kind? Frank is dead. They've asked me to identify his body. Oh. What, what happened? He was found in a ditch a few miles outside Bethlehem. They're performing the autopsy later today. So he was murdered? No, they wouldn't say. I'm guessing I'll find out more when I get there. What's well, not all bad news, Victoria. But his secrets died with Frank. You know, in many ways, you could see this as a relief. Oh, finally. Something wrong with my key. I had the locks changed. If you want something, I'll have it sent to the hotel. Victoria, stop it. We need to appear united during this investigation. What do you hope to accomplish by locking me out? Peace of mind. Meaning? How did Frank's car wind up a half mile from here? How did that hidden camera end up in Lydia's apartment? Where were you on the night that Frank died? You really think I'm capable of cold-blooded murder? I think it's been established that you're capable of anything. Yeah, and Frank proved himself more loyal to you than to me, and he even so much as admitted trying to kill Lydia for you. And you practically rejoiced when you found out he was dead. You knew he had feelings for me, and you were terrified that they might be mutual. Don't flatter yourself. <sighs> The police found Frank's cell phone. It was in our garden. They're building a case against you, Conrad. Well, it's a case they're going to lose, Victoria, because that phone had to have been planted. By whom? Well, by the same bastard who had the camera in Lydia's apartment. I still have a hard time believing that you didn't install that camera. Well, I am so sorry to disappoint you, my dear, but I'm innocent on all counts. 
And I suggest you start backing me up because if I end up getting framed for this, I'm going to see to it that everything you cherish so dearly is ripped from those greedy little claws of yours. Careful, Conrad. You should know by now I don't respond well to threats.